do the stuff. Yeah, baby. You are the star. So today we're going to be taking a look at the libate knot or sometimes called the loop knot. Uh, it's a very useful knot, it's a strong knot. It's good for halibut rigs, it's good for crappie rigs or uh, anytime you want your bait to kind of move freely around with a knot that's not cinched up on the eye of the bait. So to get into it, I got some 40 pound Eisner line and some 4 owner's hooks. For demonstration's sake, I'll do it on the big gear first, and then after that, I'll do it with some lighter line on a crappie jig. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is on the tag end of the line, I'm gonna tie a half hitch a few inches above the tag end. So it looks like that. Then what I'll do is put my hook on the tag end, This is not a great hook to use because it's a sidewash hook. The eye is not complete. Let me get a different hook. All right, so we'll just go ahead and start over. I got like a, this is about a six aught hook, I believe. So again, I got the, the half hitch above the tag line. Now I'm gonna feed the uh, line through the hook. Then I'm gonna pinch it together like this. And then I'm gonna take the tag end and run it through the half hitch. And set it about the length I want, about a half inch. I want about a half inch above, from, from the half hitch to the, knot, to the eye itself. Then I take the tag in and I wrap it around the bite of the line. Now the bite of the line is everything in between the two ends of the line. So I'm gonna take the tag in and wrap around five, sometimes six, but usually five, six is good. I just wrap it around. And then after I got it wrapped around the bite of the line, I go back to that half hitch and I put the tag in going down back through it. I'm gonna go right through it, so it looks like that. And then moisten it to lubricate it so um, it doesn't damage the line from the friction, especially if you're using fluorocarbon. This is a great knot for mono and fluorocarbon. Um, but fluorocarbon is a little more sensitive to abuse. So you, no matter what, I always moisten my line to lubricate it so I don't damage the line with heat friction or anything when I'm setting the knot. So now we'll set the knot. I got the tag into my thumb and index finger. The knot's uh, prepared. I make it wet. And then I just pull it together. I'm gonna um, grab the tag in with my teeth, pull on the bite of the line. And that set it down. And see what I'm talking about, how the hook can move, it swings around freely on the on the knot, on the loop knot, on the live bait knot. It can move. So that's good when you have live bait, because if you have a knot that's pinching that pinching it like this, you know, a tight knot clenched up on there, the hook doesn't have that much action anymore. But this thing can move all over the place with live bait, that's great. With uh with uh crappie jigs, that's great because it puts a little more action on it. But this knot is not done yet to me. Now a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put this hook around the rail of the boat and pull on this to make sure it's set good, make it tight. The other thing I like to do sometimes is I'll take my thumbnail and I'll just put it on top of the knot and I'll run it down like this. And that makes the knots a little smaller and tighter. I pull a little pressure on the tag end, but more pressure on the bite. And that knot is set. 
and then it looks like this when you're done and then what I do to, to cut it I like to leave a little tiny bit of tag in there in case something slips I'll take my fingernail and I put it where I want to cut it and I'll use my fingernail as a guide and I'll take my knife and I'll put it on my thumbnail bite the line make it tight and then I'll just run the knife down my thumbnail and cut the tag in short now see how nice and short that tag end is that's that's pretty good you can go a little shorter maybe but I like to leave a little bit there in case it slips um, fish like crappie and halibut are not really line shy so it's not it's not like they're gonna be afraid of biting if they see that because they probably ain't even looking at it. They, they ambush their, their their prey and they're just gonna see something to eat and go for it. I like to have that little bit of security right there. I like to know that if for some reason my knot slips, it'll have enough time to get tight to where the hook don't come off and I don't lose that fish. So having shown that on a oversized, uh, you know, a larger uh, line and hook, now let's do it um, with a crappie jig. For this, we're gonna use a six pound P-Line Floral Clear line, which is a decent, good line. I, I love P-Line, actually. I usually fish a four pound test or six pound test straight mono, but I use Floral Clear sometimes too. Now, floral Clear is just a mono line that has a floral carbon coat on it. So it makes it a, a little less visible in the water for the fish, but like I'm saying, like crappie, they feed aggressively. You don't really need to worry about it. So I'm going to start here with a six pound mono or floral clear. Again, I'm just going to tie, hold on, let me break a fresh piece. I'm going to tie a half hitch on the bite of the line above the tag end. I'm going to make a little loop right there like that. I hope that shows up on the camera. So I, I, and I've got about four inches of line, tag end line after the half hitch. Now I'm going to pinch the half hitch where it's still exposed because after we put the crappie jig on here, we're going to go up through here. Let me grab, grab one of these crappie jigs. I'm going to get one of these camo joes. I got, I got an assortment here of um, some jigs that I use from uh, Camo Joe, Notorious, Lost Creek. Um, they all work good. I'm going to grab this one. No, I'm not because that has a piece of line on it. I'm going to grab this Notorious. It has a piece of line on it too. Let me just cut that shit off. Alright. Okay, so Ghost Head Jig with Notorious Custom Jig. And now I'm just going to take the tag in and go through the eyelet on the jig head. The eye on the jig head. And I'm going to pinch it up here and run the tag end up through the half hitch and pull it up. And now I got everything pinched to where the half hitch is only about, you know, a quarter inch above the eye. And then I'm going to take that, the, I'm going to take the tag in and wrap it around the bite of the line five times, maybe six. Okay, there's six wraps and then I just take the tag in and feed it down through the half hitch I'm going down through it and when it comes through I grab it and I pull it together like that and then I moisten it pull both ends a little bit try to get it cinched up check it I like I like the length on that let me wipe the spit off a little bit I like how that size of the loop looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and commit. Again, it's it's pretty much started to see, but it's this this knot. See how it's long on on the bite? If you take your thumbnail and set it right on top of that dot and push it down and pull on this, it'll stack that knot up. And now see how much smaller it is. 
it's so much smaller now. That's what you want, that's what makes it tight. And then to make sure, I put the tag into my teeth and then I pull on the bike. And see how the loop is small, but it's there. And that bait can move around on that loop. It's it's very small. It's only about an eighth of an inch long loop, but loop, but that bait can move all over on that knot. And again, another thing, a lot of times, you know, if you got a boat rail or something to help you set it, you can put your hook on there, give it a little pull, and then after doing that come back with your thumbnail again put your thumbnail on top of the knot and just kind of slide it stack it up slide it down I always make sure my knots are really well tight and I would call that good to fish and then I'm gonna take my thumbnail and I'm gonna set it you know 16th or eighth of an inch past the knot and use my thumbnail as a guide Put my knife on my thumbnail, grab the tag in with my teeth, make it tight, and just trim it off right there. I don't know if you can see that little tag in, but that little tag in is there. There's a little tiny loop on there, and that bait can move around freely. And I, again, for crappie jigs, and for, and also for, um, for halibut, live bait rigs that's what i do the live bait knot or sometimes people call it the loop knot but that's what it is that's how you do it that's how you use it again great knot for mono and fluoro um it's strong and sometimes i'll catch fish on the same bait all day and not even have to retie but after catching fish i will rub my fingers up that line and if i feel nicks in it or anything from the teeth fish or, or battling the fish i'll cut a few inches off and retie. Get, make sure I keep that that line that line strong and fresh right there, so I don't lose fish. Um, and that's it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like. Um, subscribe to the channel. Share. Um, we got more fishing videos coming up. More tips. And as always, stay fishy. I'm out.